Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake again. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I fired one of my precious bullets in between videos by bumping the trigger against my leg. How embarrassing. Um, I'd like to start things off by, uh, now that we're outside of Cauldron Lake Lodge and the uh, universe isn't unraveling in front of me, I'd like to start things off by giving a shout out to Elthwar, who, uh, wanted to inform us that the circular disc in the fire lookout tower was an Osborne fire finder, which is used to help determine where forest fires occur. You uh, rotate it around to align to the fire to determine directional bearings. Elthwar also was one of several people who uh, informed me that this story about Caligula and his horse wasn't uh, actually, it might not be all that accurate. Uh, Caligula's, horse was Caligula's horse was named Incitatus, but, uh, so he was real. But the chroniclers of that story all had political reasons to portray Caligula poorly due to the change in dynasty, and it has been suggested that the horse becoming a consul might have been a joke on Caligula's part regarding his view of the Senate. There was another shout-out I wanted to make, but I'm going to have to do a jump cut to it, since I filmed it in the main menu in the previous session and then forgot to use it in the actual episodes. So, uh, here's that. Shout out to Torek00, who says, On evolving title screens, my favorite example is Spec Ops The Line. The title screen shows a sniper nest, with time clearly passing as the sniper sets up and keeps an eye out for whatever targets he has. In keeping with the plot's bleakness, the last evolution of the title screen shows the sniper's corpse, dead and forgotten at his solitary post. Just for the record, here's what the title screen looks like in Chapter 4. Torix00 also, uh, replied to Derek Floyd talking about the Collect 100 thingamajigs quest in the form of the, uh, the feathers from Assassin's Creed 2 by saying that the least rewarding, uh, collection qu side quest might also be, uh, the original Assassin's Creed, where, uh, collecting all the, the, uh, the, the flags scattered around the world well, on the Xbox 360, you get four achievements for it. On the PS3, you get absolutely nothing. I heard once it was a commentary on video game collectibles. Player characters will obsessively collect anything just because it exists in the game world. Which is an amusing way to uh, justify that. Also, on that subject, shout out to uh, Roshan who uh, says, Speaking of terrible quest, quest rewards, I don't think that there's a lot that can top the reward you get for finding all of those seeds in Breath of the Wild. I had to look that one up, because I didn't get close to that myself, and it was, uh... <laughs> they give you a golden turd. <laughs> That's so silly. Anyway, we might be outside, but we still need to go through some kind of hedge maze in order to be, you know, free. Oh, jeez, Al! The house looks bad! Let's get out of here! I was actually expecting bullets to be sitting over here when I saw the shinies, but okay. following the right wall, for the record. Oh, hell! No, 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 follow the right wall. In a maze, if you pick a wall and follow it... Eventually, it will lead you to the exit. Don't trust Emil. 
Why is that there? That is not a helpful place to put that. And I follow the wall over here. This looks like an exit. Which does make me want to backtrack and check out the other areas. Wake sees the old god's stage. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. <laughs> Ah, uh, what the hell. Okay, that side's a dead end. That's good to know. Oh, let's not run when there could be taken in here. Yeah. Really? No page? I guess Barry was right. This isn't really that hard a maze. Oh! I keep expecting Mott to pop up around here somewhere. Uh, excuse me. Fuck off, big guy. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was intense. Like, this isn't the scariest game I've ever played or anything, but it's really good at creating an atmosphere of tension. Aha! A page in a dead end. I knew it. Hartman and the Power Failure. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Huh. Well, he saw it coming, but he wasn't prepared after all. Guy doesn't care about his patience, he doesn't care about. Oh, 
Okay, that does help. Okay, nuts to this. We're going back into the maze. Oh, what's that? It's not actually an option? Okay. Well, we're, you know, working on it. I like that it played the sound effect. Joy. That was two ravens. I wonder if that was important. Ah, it's Birch! Dodge. I was mashing the dodge button. No. No. Oh. Not sure which one of them tore me apart. Oh boy, this is going to be great. Oh, I can see that he's not there even. That's a. Uh... Concerning. You get two barrels in the morning, and then you'll be nice and cold all day long. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, now you get to die. Ah, you can't dodge while he's doing that. It's good to know. Goodbye, Birch. It wasn't very pleasant to know you. Rest in peace, you cruel piece of shit. Excellent. I think I mentioned it already, but just so we're clear, Alan automatically switches to any new weapon he picks up. Or even any weapon he picks up, I think, if he's already got it. Fuck me. Am I crazy, or does this look Norse somehow? I've killed your little buddy!
know, we're really lucky that Alan lives in New York. I don't remember, for example, a scene where someone tries the I know you're still in there, you can fight this routine. And I'm kind of glad about that, because I'm pretty sure that would break my heart under these circumstances. Given that they're, you know, essentially talking to a zombie. Like, even the manual spells it out very explicitly. You know, they cannot be saved. There is no coming back from being taken by the darkness. Here's the real question. What do you think happens to their souls? I am very surprised this wasn't a trap, now that I think about it. Mott in charge. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. Fucking monster. I'm glad you got torn apart by the tornado. Or, you know, given the, uh... The fact that a certain, uh... Series of intentionally bad movies has come out since the release of this game, I suppose I'll be referring to it as the Darknado. an ambush. That's great. Oh, shit. I didn't like that noise. No, that one! Uh. Oh, man! I, lo I reloaded one bullet into the thing. That was incredibly dramatic. I had managed to reload one bullet in, and I killed the guy with it. That was great. Running low on ammo, though. Don't love this. I should look up some of the pages that it does in, uh, Nightmare Mode. I mean, I'm not coming back for that. Oh! Yeah, that wasn't great. I'm gonna stand here and wait while my health slowly picks back up. That didn't pick up a lot. I mean, it is going, I think. If I stare directly at it for a few seconds, I can tell. I look up, and it's this yellow paint that says, Eat shit. Yoink! Barry attacked by a Taken? For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. No! But he's the only friend we've got. Oh 
wish I had my heavy duty flashlight. That was nice. I like that. I never noticed that before. The, the sort of burning, sizzling sound it made when I shot him with a bullet before his dark was down. That was because I thought I heard that sound earlier. He kind of looked like that guy from Left 4 Dead, too. I never played that one myself. I wanted to, but I didn't have a, uh, you know, first-person shooter group. Oh yeah, that. So our guardian angel was uh, helping us even here. Yeah, that's probably for the best. You probably don't want to leave ammo just actually lying inside the box where it is somewhere that the patients could reach it. There is a checkpoint right here. Oh, I interrupted the thing and my brain didn't like that. I interrupted the animation. Wait for it. And... What? Oh. And... Okay, that's better. I don't know if it's an autism thing or what, you know, with the Asperger's and all, but, uh... Every once in a while, my brain will loudly insist that I have done something in the wrong manner, and that I must do it correctly, to uh, scratch the itch, essentially. I suppose we'll be finishing on this. Hartman sedates Wake. Yes, this already happened. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he had had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan, Hartman whispered with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. You. But yes. I feel like that guy over there is going to be tougher than he looks, because there's a checkpoint right behind him, and I was already standing in one of them. Oh no, what's this Barry? What the fuck's going to happen over there? Well, I guess we'll find out in the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake again, when we make good on our escape from uh, Cauldron Lake Lodge. Hopefully without being eaten alive by ravens, or, you know, murdered by the Taken, or whatever. Ooh, wish me luck, Burning Dog fans. And stay in the light.